I never yielded! And as you can see, I am not dead! This is Black Panther, also known as T'Challa, the King of Wakanda, and is one of the most popular and profitable Marvel superheroes of all time. We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. I don't care. But it took this fan favorite, who spent much of his Marvel legacy in the shadows, over 50 years to get his time in the spotlight. T'Challa was first introduced as the sensational Black Panther in 1966 in issue number 52 of Fantastic Four. Created by Marvel legends Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, Black Panther was originally conceived under a different name, Cole Tiger. Lee claimed that he drew inspiration for the character from the name and emblem of a political party in Alabama, the Lowndes County Freedom Organization, which coincidentally inspired the Black Panther Party. Black Panther made history as the first mainstream black superhero in a comic book. And he was good at everything. On his resume, you'll find enhanced superhuman abilities, mastery of hand-to-hand -hand combat, a PhD in physics, and other smart things that were too dumb to comprehend, and the power to control the undead. And all this doesn't even include his seemingly endless supply of the most rare element on the planet, vibranium, a nearly indestructible metal that can absorb kinetic energy. <laughs> After his debut in Fantastic Four, Black Panther became a key member of the Avengers starting in 1968. He then bounced around the Marvel comic book universe for a while, eventually headlining his own series starting in 1973, and then off and on throughout the following decades. Overall, the character continued to be a mainstay in the comic books, but never quite reached the popularity of other Marvel favorites like Spider-Man, the Hulk, or Captain America. Even when actor Keith David voiced Black Panther's television debut on Fantastic Four the Animated Series, in 1994, it was only for one episode, where he first fought the foursome, then joined forces to defeat his arch nemesis, Claw. Match your flame power against my feline agility. Other appearances came and went over the years, a non-speaking cameo in the radically 90s X-Men the Animated Series, and an adaptation of Black Panther for BET starring Academy Award-nominated actor Jaimon Hounsou. There is no feat I can achieve that you are not capable of. But in 2010, Black Panther's popularity began to grow after prominent voice actor James C. Mathis III began portraying him in The Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Thanks to Mathis's performance in that series, as well as multiple Marvel projects over the following decade, fans got a taste of how cool Black Panther could be. Shall I show you the same mercy you showed my father? Then in 2018, a little something happened. A $1.3 billion record-setting three-time Oscar-winning something. After Chadwick Boseman stole the show as Black Panther two years earlier in Captain America Civil War, he headlined his own Black Panther movie. Boseman, who had previously played prominent historical figures like Jackie Robinson and James Brown, faced the responsibility of portraying a fictional character who's a king, a superhero, even a UN representative. This may have been intimidating to some actors, but he was able to convey an air of dignity and confidence. We must find a way to look after one another as if we were one single tribe. The end result was a superhero who demands the audience's attention and respect. Wakanda forever! And so, after over 50 years, Black Panther is finally front and center on comic books, movie posters, and he's gearing up for his second feature film, all the while becoming a pop culture icon that resonates with fans around the world. Who are you? 